Yo, 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 what's going on? I'm Charlotte. What's happening? My oh, he just broke his glasses. These are $200 glasses. Oh my God. Just happened, guys. Oh my God, that just happened. On camera, this oh. just happened. So, to show you it's not fake, these are literally. These are real Ray-Bans. <laughs> Well, it's Halloween week, so that means there's lots of scary satanic things going on. But Satan 2 is on a whole other level. It's the world's most powerful nuclear bomb. Oh, I thought it was the guy that just broke my glasses that cost $200. Russia has just unveiled its newest nuke. Haha, <laughs> newest nuke. JK, nukes are not funny. It's actually called RS-28 Sarmat. Satan 2 was the nickname given to it by NATO, but it's pretty fitting, isn't it? The original Satan missile was developed in the 1970s during the Cold War. Now those missiles are pretty much reaching the end of their shelf life, so Russia has been developing a new one since around 2013. But we don't actually know when they started because that's classified. The US and Russia have both signed a treaty in 2010 which restricted the number of ballistic missiles kept on reserve. Which means that the US and Russia had a truce not to develop any more missiles than needed. Russia argues that it has to up its defense because the US military is in Europe. Seems like this is Russia flexing its war muscles after Hillary Clinton called Donald Trump Putin's puppet during the third presidential debate. Russia just recently decided to declassify the first image of its new thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missile. So as you can see my glasses are still broken. And here are some of the bomb stats. To put it in perspective, you know the bombs that were dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945? Yeah, Satan 2 is like 2,000 times more powerful than those. Satan 2 has the capability of wiping out an area the size of Texas with just one blow. It can hit any target on either side of the United States. Its range is greater than 11,000 kilometers, which is a little less than 7,000 miles. It has a speed of 7 kilometers a second and it weighs 100 tons. According to the maker of the missile, Makiev Rocket Design, the Sarmat is designed to provide strategic Russian forces with a guaranteed and effective fulfillment of nuclear deterrence tasks. So in other words, it pretty much just can't fail. Well, you might think, can't we just shoot it out of the sky if it's coming toward us? Yeah, no, we can't. Satan 2 is supposed to be able to evade radar technology. The Satan 2 will be ready for deployment in 2018, which means we have about two years to get to Mars. Russia is kind of not on the best terms right now with most people, except for like Donald Trump, even though I think he calls Putin Putin sometimes. Earlier this month, Moscow announced that they were going to suspend an arms reduction agreement with the US. In this agreement, both the US and Russia agreed to get rid of 34 tons of plutonium, which is one of the main ingredients needed to make nuclear bombs. 34 tons is enough to make thousands of them. In addition to them, all of the hacking allegations being thrown around have also been making tensions rise with Russia. It's been discovered by 17 intelligence agencies that the Russian government is actually feeding WikiLeaks hacked information to influence the American election. It's not just tensions with the US that are troubling. In addition to that, tensions between the UK and Russia are also getting pretty bad too. The British PM Theresa May publicly blasted Putin for undermining the West's efforts to provide a political settlement in Syria. Syria is in a constant state of turmoil and the cities on the ground are still being bombed despite a truce. Many fingers are pointing at Russia. So Jared, I'm really scared. Do you think Russia actually plans to use this thing? Nope. Why do they have it then? Um, just because it's kind of like a, hey look, who has a bigger dick? America's like, we got a huge military, and then Russia's like, we got a bigger dick. Okay, but no, it's actually really serious, guys. Um, hopefully Russia never plans to use it, but if they do, and IO still exists, we will be there to tell you all about it. But if if they do, it'll probably wipe out. If they hit US, it might hit Canada too. Like, we're close oh, to Oh no, US. everybody likes Canada. Nobody's gonna bomb us. But we're us. like mad close. We're near Michigan. Anyways, guys, that is all for now, and we'll see you in another video. And just so you guys know, my glasses are still broken.